everybody turn on me, and I just want to make people laugh. That's all I want to do. So oh man, guys. Tearing up at times, the comedian revealed this is the a disaster. Photo shoot has caused her to fear for her life. The death threats that I'm getting are constant, and they are detailed, and they are serious, That's and they are specific. So regarding guys, the post your comments below on this. I participated in that apology absolutely stands. I feel horrible. She called the press conference to say that she is being bullied by the Trump family through their comments and social media tweets. A sitting president of the United States and his grown children and the first lady are personally, I feel, personally, trying to ruin my life What do you guys think forever. about this? Do you think they're right Should to do that or not? Should she lose her career over it? We did not hear back by our deadline. Griffin says she will not be silenced. I'm going to make fun of the president. And you know what? I'm going to make fun of him more now. Do you think she's more. right to say that, guys? So, what do you think? I really want your opinion. Him. I have no desire to harm him or anyone. I would never want to harm anybody. Griffin has hired attorney Lisa Bloom, but made no announcement of a lawsuit. I asked Kathy about her firing from CNN. Boy, oh boy. Hosting job with Anderson Cooper. And was Anderson and Cooper right to throw her under the bus? <sighs> Admitting she made a mistake... Kathy was at times defiant, wanting to take on the White House. So, yeah, I'm an obnoxious comedian. I'm not the most famous person in the world. And this bully and these, this president, of all people, is going to come after me? He picked the wrong redhead. Those are strong words, but the consensus on social media seems to be that people are not rallying to Kathy's side. All right, another what do you guys think? So, w what do you guys think? I mean... Um, I don't think Kathy Griffin should lose her career over this, but I do think that she should be more mindful of uh, what techniques she uses when trying to be controversial. I mean, she's getting tremendous publicity out of this, and if you remember from her TV show, she always said <clears throat> how much she loved doing publicity stunts to get attention. In this case, do you guys think this is one of her publicity stunts? like she always talked about on My Life on the D-List, is what she called the name of her show, or do you think this is an absolute honest backlash, which is what it appears to be? Um, do you think Trump, as the president, should waste one second paying attention to a comedian who did an inappropriate joke, or should he just be focusing on taking care of the United States? Uh, what's your opinion? Should he focus on this, or just focus on the U.S.? And also, do you think Kathy Griffin, as I said before, deserves to lose her entire career or not? I, I mean, you know, she's, she has uh, did some performances where she bombed, some of them where she's successful. Uh, do you think that she should lose her CNN gig? I don't think that this penalizing and punishing mentality is the best way to approach it. Um, you know, I think it's uncomfortable for a comedian if they are not uh, getting the laughs that they hope to. It's a very tricky, sticky wicket, but I am curious to hear your opinions, and I'm still uh, deciding myself on, you know, what I think the best course of action would be in this case. But again, there are more important things to worry about, right, guys? So, you know, um, again, guys, make sure to subscribe for updates. Post your comments below. I really think she should have just said, hey, guys. I meant to make you laugh, I failed at that attempt, and that is my punishment. Please let's not take it beyond that, and I will strive to try to create humor that will be more appropriate and succeed in making you laugh, and I'm sorry for making this egregious error in judgment, um, you know, showing the bloody stump head of, you know, anybody. Um, you know, again, even if you hate Donald Trump or love Donald Trump, it's just an inappropriate way, you know, it's an in inappropriate way to handle the situation, <clears throat> you know. And um, I I'm very curious, again, to hear your feedback. So please make sure to subscribe. Tell your friends about the channel. Post your comments below. This is comic book artist Greg White from BeyondComics.tv coming at you live here and direct. If you get a chance, please check out my comic book. So guys, this is my company over here, BeyondComics.tv. Again, I create comic book superheroes. Um, again, thanks for watching. I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback. And this is a little bit about the stuff I'm doing here. Award-winning director and celebrity comic book superhero artist of the stars. Good evening. Comic book artist, writer, and director Greg White of BeyondComics.tv was first published in Todd McFarlane's Spawn issue number 30 from Image Comics. And Greg is currently known for creating his new superhero graphic novel. Sunday. 
Hold on to your spandex, Gotham City. And this guy wants to draw you in his comic book. That is dope. I love that idea. Oh my god. Because there's a new superhero in town. Look that way. Oh. And her name is Coco. So here is the official printed copy of Yukito number one that you are in. Oh, cool. <laughs> How long can I hold this pose? Ice loves Coco on E. Comic book man. I'm being out there. <laughs> oh my god, this place is amazing. This is seriously amazing. This is exactly why I do what I do. I do like comic books and artwork and things like that. Drawing and writing and you're, stuff. You're an artist and writer? Howard 100 News Spotlight. I've been drawn into a comic book. It's an honor. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please make sure to subscribe, tell your friends about my channel, and make sure to subscribe for the updates on what I'll be posting soon. All right, thanks a lot, guys, and check out some of our other videos. And as they say in comic books, to be continued.